everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm back at trying to clear out this giant pile of uh, felled trees and pine needles and sticks and dirt and everything else so that we can put our woodshed in. I'm thinking I'm going to be able to fit the woodshed between that tree there, the one that's still alive, and this one here. Uh, the woodshed's going to be 18 feet long. I'm just kind of eyeballing that. I think it might fit between those. If I have to do anything, I guess I will probably trim out this tree, just the one. And that'll give me plenty of room off to that side. Uh, but I'm not even to that point right now. What I'm doing is uh, you know, trying to get the logs out of the way. It's kind of back and forth where I'll, I'll scoop some of the dirt out with the tractor and haul it up over there. And then, um, you know, well, there's these logs and these have to be, uh, you know, kind of moved out of the way and stacked over here so we can use them as firewood. A lot of this stuff here is not the best firewood material. It's still white pine. White pine's going to throw a lot of creosote up into the chimney, but, you know, I'll deal with it. I'll scrub the chimney out, and uh, it's a great, you know, supply of, of heat here. And the more dry I can get the stuff, the less creosote's going to be, you know, accumulating in there. The worst kind of wood is the stuff with a lot of pitch in it, like the, the, the white pines and things like that, when it's wet. Uh, th that's kind of the worst situation for creosote. So at least if I can get it dry, it'll be that much better. But still, I'm going to have a creosote issue, but I'll deal with that as I go, because I, I don't want to just throw out this great resource when I need firewood. Uh, what I'm doing now is splitting wood. I'm, I'm not splitting it all the way down. Well, some of them I'm splitting all the way down. I got this kind of hodgepodge pile here. Here are pieces that I could put right into the uh, the wood stove as they are. I, you know, I'm gonna dry them out more, but you know, in terms of size, they're good. Uh, I've got some pieces that are just logs that I've dragged over here. In fact, that one I touched uh, earlier. I think I'll probably try to just kind of flip it over here and put it on the pile. And then I got some stuff that I did cut into pieces and um, and then split at least in half. So we can dry a little faster. Um, anything that I can, I'm trying to at least split in half. I thought it might be fun to watch uh, this one get split. Uh, this is uh, not a piece of white pine. It's some kind of a hardwood. And uh, there are a lot of knots in it. There's a lot of little branches that come out. That always makes it more difficult. So <laughs> we'll see how I do with this. Uh, when I'm uh, splitting the wood, I try to um, make it so that the crack goes through a place where there aren't branches because the branches really bind things together. I'm seeing a lot of branches here and, bran and a branch here. So I think maybe I can split there and there's no branches on that side. So I think this is my uh, angle of cleavage that I'm going to try to work for. Let's see how it works. Let's see how it goes. All right, that felt pretty good. I don't think this is going to be too bad. And I'm, I'm not trying to power through. Just kind of keep tapping it and use the weight of the, uh, of the maul to go through. As long as it keeps cracking a little bit more, ugh, a little bit more each time, it's fine. And uh, and it saves my joints. All right, yeah, we're getting there. I missed a little there. Sometimes I pride myself on being able to hit the last point of contact pretty pretty closely, and then sometimes I'm like way off. Usually I'm pretty good though. Just trying to make a line of them straight down the middle here. And at one point, at some point, you're going to hear kind of like a different sounding crack, and then you'll know that it's going through. And sometimes the thing just pops open like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining, that's all right. All right, so I'm going to throw these up on the pile here, and then, uh, you know, I'm, I don't know, I might try to roll that out of the way or whatever, but uh, this is kind of the big, big deal right here. This is an old tree stump, it's got some rocks on it and there's a lot of dirt it's pretty heavy uh, it's kind of beyond the uh, capability of that John Deere tractor I have to really manipulate I can kind of push it around a little bit I'm wondering if I can clean out around it and there's not any more like that once I get this area clear I could just push it back over the embankment over there and throw it in back and that would be just fine by me but it's kind of in the middle of everything it's in the way so I don't know I'm pecking away and seeing how it goes one step at a time that's it thanks for watching